On the balance sheet, if you look at the current assets section, you'll often see something called short-term investments. And in this video, we're going to discuss what these short-term investments are and, and how they're classified. So we really are thinking about three different types of things. We're thinking about something called trading securities. Uh, we're thinking about held to maturity uh, securities. And then we're also thinking about something called available for sale securities. So I, I'm just going to start uh, talking about these in a little more depth. And, and the first one would be trading securities, which are basically debt or equity securities. It, it doesn't matter. Uh, but the, the goal or the, the main thing is that they're bought for the purpose of short term trading. Uh, and, and let me just give you an example, and it might make a little more sense. Uh, so let's say that the firm, uh, your firm decides to buy some stock in Coca-Cola. So you buy some Coca-Cola stock, and now we look at, okay, well, what's your firm's purpose with this stock? If you are think, uh, think oh, well, you know what, this Coca-Cola stock is going to go up uh, in the next month or two in, in value, and then we're going to sell it. So then basically your purpose is short-term trading. You just want to buy this stock and turn around and sell it uh, in, in the short term. And so you're just thinking, okay, well, this is a trading security. Uh, and, and basically uh, we're going to record that. Uh, it's going to be recorded at fair value um, on, on our balance sheet. And any gain or loss from this is going to go to the income statement. Now, Trading securities is one thing. We've also got something called held to maturity, uh, which is basically now we're just talking about debt securities, not not equity. It's just debt securities that the firm has the intent and the ability uh, to hold to maturity, right? So if the firm doesn't intend to hold it to maturity or they can't because they're financially constrained, they don't have the ability, then it's not a held to maturity uh, security. So, so let's just take an example here. Example is a bond. So this bond is, is going to mature, and, and the firm intends and, and, and has the ability to, to hold this bond, uh, then that's, that's a held to maturity uh, a debt security. And basically anything that's not trading or held to maturity is going to be you know, kind of grouped into our last category, uh, which is available for sale. So that's just kind of a catch-all term for everything else. Uh, something that's that's not held to maturity, it's not trading. We're just going to call it an available for sale security. Uh, and available for sale is similar to trading in that it's it's kind of it's kept at the balance sheet at fair value. However, any gain or loss uh, is actually going to be going to bypass the income statement. It's going to bypass the income statement. We're going to talk about that more in depth when we have a video specifically on AFS securities. Uh, but just remember, they're recorded at fair value like trading securities, uh, but their gains and losses are, are treated a little differently. Now, I, I should have mentioned that held to maturity uh, securities are not recorded at fair value. They're actually uh, recorded at something called amortized cost. So just put your amortized cost, which we'll talk about in our HTM video. Um, but bear in mind, there's there's actually a, a, a situation in which uh, both held to maturity and uh, available for sale securities can be classified exactly like trading securities and that they'd be uh, both at fair value with any gain or loss uh, going to the income statement. Uh, and that's if the firm makes an election. So a firm can actually choose, it can make an irrevocable election to say, okay, we want to, uh, our held to maturity and our AFS securities uh, to be not only recorded at fair value, but also have any gain or loss go to the income statement. That's an election. Uh, the default is uh, the HTM and AFS uh, securities uh, will be accounted for a little differently than trading with HTM being at amortized cost, uh, available for sale at fair value with any gain or loss bypassing the income statement. And these are the three types of short-term investments that you'll see in the current assets section on the balance.